our printer is on as we have plugged in the power and we have to go to the display panel so that we can start the setup process here the first step is to select the language so select the English and just confirm the language here select the country next step is to install the setup in cartridges so take them out of the box so you get black in cartridge and the color in cartridges are here so three of them and the ink cartridge chamber door is at the front so you just simply this white portion pull it and it will open the ink cartridge chamber and wait for the ink cartridge chamber to come in the middle to install the ink cartridge simply follow a simple rule uh, you will see the ink cartridge there is a marking here and also the alphabets are written here so just match them make sure this side with seal and logo stay out and this side will go in so black will go to the black side push it in and it will lock itself now the yellow with the seal and this marking outside the seal should face downside and push it in so this round seal which looks like here ring like structure face down and push it in and for the blue that is the last color and place it in so you simply have to place here and once once it slides in just push it in and it will lock now close the ink cartridge chamber door and go to the main screen so once the ink cartridge door is closed you will see it's checking the printer so just wait for the processing here we can see the instant ink cartridges are installed and it says ready now click ok button to go next next step is to load the plain letter or a4 size paper sheets paper tray is at the bottom so just slide it out and adjust the size here place the a4 size sheets and close the paper tray paper output tray is here so you just have to slide it out and go to the display panel on the display panel we can see the next step is to align the print head and to get the best possible print quality from the printer align the print head now and this process uses ink and one sheet of paper so just click on the continue button so printer is going to print the alignment page now next step is to open the top scanner bed and place this ink cartridge alignment page facing downwards on the upper corner and close this door and click on the scan button on the display panel on the display panel we can see the alignment is successful and we have to just click on the ok button On the next screen we see it says to complete the setup we have to go to the HP website at 123.hp.com but you can select the question mark here and the next option is network setup click on that and we get three options here to do the Ethernet setup wireless setup or we can connect it later so just select anything you want for example connect later now click OK 
and click OK again. Now it says thanks for choosing the HP. So here is the main display screen. That means we have successfully set up our printer. Now we are ready for the copy and we can also do the Wi-Fi setup or Wi-Fi direct setup or using an Ethernet cable we can do the setup so that we can do the wireless printing and scanning. So here we can see we have completed the initial setup of this printer and now to do the copy we can simply uh, open the top scanner page and place a page here facing downwards like this and we can close the lid now go to the display panel here we can see the copy option click on that it is a document and now give the copy command so it's very easy to use this printer after the setup so instantly we can start the copy function So here we can see it has done the copy and the quality of the print is good so it's a good printer now if you want to use it for the wireless printing and scanning you have to do the Wi-Fi setup of this printer that you can do by going to the setting and then select the network to do the Wi-Fi setup we have to go to the display panel and this blue light which is blinking it shows the printer is in the setup mode. Now go to the setting, scroll down the screen and click on the setting icon. Click on the network setup and click on the wireless settings. Click on the wireless setup wizard. It will search for the available wireless networks. You have to select the network you want to connect it. On the display panel we can see there is a keypad. So you just enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. Once you enter the password, click OK and it will connect with the Wi-Fi network. So it's connecting now. And once the connection is done, you will see the blue light which is flashing on the side will stay on. That means it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now the next thing is to simply add this printer in your different devices and start the wireless printing and scanning. Overall I can say it is a very good printer for home or office use where we can connect it with the Wi-Fi quickly and then we can start using it. Also the setup process is quite smooth as long as you know all the details you can do that. And uh, the top part is the feeder tray where we can install the multiple pages and you can do the printing or if you want you can just uh, or you can do the multiple scannings as well. Thanks for watching.